This week's NFT Hot Sauce features our very own Van City Outbreak NFT release and a host of other NFT projects like the upcoming Blanco's Beta, the new Boyd Tesla powered NFTs, Upland Spark, and an exciting list of new releases on Wax. Hello, EOS Nation. I'm Stefan Bisson, and this is episode 79 of the EOS Hot Sauce. As always, our spicy weekly updates are available in every format. Watch on YouTube, listen on SoundCloud, or your favorite podcast player, or read it at eosnation.io. That's also where you can subscribe to the EOS Nation newsletter to get that spicy sauce poured straight into your inbox. However you prefer it, help spread the sauce by smashing that like. Now let's get ready for this week's spicy goodness. Starting off, we're pleased to announce the successful release of the Van City Outbreak NFT series on Wax. Van City Outbreak is a graphic novel about a deadly virus that turns victims into ravenous undead cannibals. Whiplash Comics uses real actors in real locations and tells stories through the medium of a camera by creating stunning visuals through composing the photographs. Stéphane Bisson, co-founder of EOS Nation and Martin Brewer, regional director of Asia for EOS Nation, partnered with Whiplash Comics to release their graphic novel as an NFT series on wax. We believe NFT collectibles are easy to understand and currently the best way to onboard new people into the blockchain world. We're excited to continue working with non-blockchain artists of all kinds in order to show them the power and possibilities of publishing their art on highly performant blockchain networks such as Wax, EOS, and eventually Ultra. For our first release, we wanted to focus on a fair and fun distribution. We've participated in nearly all the NFT releases so far on Wax, and we designed something that we think the community will appreciate. Instead of a pack opening model, we pioneered an airdrop model for our sale. This allows us to avoid a race for mints that has caused so many headaches for past releases. Each of our survival drops has an equal chance at getting low mints, regardless of when they're purchased. And once purchased, you can sit back, relax, and watch the zombies, cleaner squad, kill shots, and animated finishers get airdropped into your account on the 31st of October. To add a small element of gamification, collectors who are able to collect all 41 common comic book pages by November 15th will earn the exclusive Van City Outbreak cover NFT, and also the right to download the full graphic novel in PDF version. Holders of five survival drops will also earn the right to the graphic novel in PDF format. Survival drops are on sale until Saturday, October 31st at 1600 UTC and only cost 100 watts each. Jump If you grab the sale, jump into our Telegram chat for more free promotion and to trade with other collectors to complete your sets. Thank you to our media partners and NFT community builders who graciously invited us to their shows. Give them a like and subscribe. The NFT space on Wax would not be the same without them. Shout out to Any Observation, NFT Live, The Bad Crypto Podcast, The NFT Show, and also NFT Hype. And finally, big shout out to Jonah and Fabian from Atomic Hub and Dimitri from Bounding Block. None of this release would have been possible without the amazing technology that they've built. We hope you enjoy this unique take on NFT launches and hope to work with other artists in the future on other great content released on EOSIO. It's time for the Race for Rares! For those of you who are new to our Race for Rares, make sure to sign up at eosnation.io front slash spicy. And it's now time to write spicy rares in the live chat and guess how long the episode will be. And winners of this contest will be announced in the next few days. Good luck to everyone. It's really been an incredible six months in the world of Wax NFTs. The growth and participation levels have thoroughly impressed us, and we don't think it's about to slow down anytime soon. There are tons of collectible series being released in the coming days and weeks, on top of many NFT games that are also set to launch. To get caught up on all the great NFT action that you might have missed, we recommend checking out the Wax.io A Series of First article produced by EOS Go. It recaps all of the biggest brands and launches that we've seen so far on Wax and also explains the upcoming DeFi slash NFT Wax tokenomics. For those of you looking forward to these launches, here's a list of all the upcoming Wax NFT series releases. We hope you have your Wax P ready because there's tons of great products coming out. From Atari, Street Fighter, Tribal Books, Bitcoin Origin, Crypto Twerps, Dark Country, Alien Worlds, Uplift Art, Mutant Warriors, Blockchain Heroes, and COGS, there's a lot of action coming at you in the next two months. Speaking of COGS, their newly released light paper was just dropped and contains details about their tokenomics, their liquidity mining, their cross-chain DeFi liquidity pools, our Fox incentives, and more. Make sure to check it out. Blanco's is another big-hitting brand that is releasing NFTs to go along with their game. It's fair to say that while the Wax Network is currently the epicenter for OSIO-based NFTs, there are several other projects making good use of NFTs on the EOS mainnet. The Mythical Games team announced the public beta for the long-awaited Blanco's Block Party for November 17th, 
and the Blanco's Founders Pack Sale is already live. All game items are based on the D-Goods NFT standard, and each Founder Pack comes with limited edition Blanco, some accessories, a guaranteed priority access to the private beta, some Blanco's bucks, and the Founder status that you'll be able to display in-game. In the most recent Built on EOSIO series, we had the chance to learn more about Mythical Games' co-founder and SVP of Business Development, Rudy Cox's motivations for building a blockchain-based player-owned economy. Given his profound track record in gaming, we can't be more excited to see what he and his team came up with to bring gaming to the next level, while also introducing a whole new group of people to the benefits of decentralized ownership. We really got excited about ways we could leverage blockchain to challenge the way game economies were being designed, explained Koch. We saw a natural fit with what blockchain was introducing and with where the game industry was going. The EOS VC funded company Mythical Games has been working on this AAA game for over 18 months now and has recently started cooperating with Block One using the newly introduced blockchain as a service offerings. The EOS community has been patiently waiting for this one to come out and not only to have fun while playing, but also for the game to showcase the potential of EOS IO and last but not least to find out how it will be connected to the EOS mainnet. Luckily, the wait will be over soon. Another project that's all about NFTs on EOS is Upland, a property trading game that continuously evolves, determined to become the first full-blown metaverse on EOS with its own economy. In this regard, they just introduced Spark, a resource needed for doing construction and therefore adding value to properties. The Spark token is based on the EOS mainnet and is not spent, but staked in order to get construction jobs done within the metaverse. Such a staking mechanism opens a lot of opportunities, as Spark holders could also stake the building power to other players in order to generate passive income. The team has already hinted that such a model would likely be offered on a Spark exchange. When it comes to the distribution of Spark, we've got some good news. The token will be airdropped to all the citizens of Upland. Boy taps into NFTs. It's amazing to see the kind of creativity and diversity that we're seeing with NFTs recently. There's tons of innovation going on, and this week, Boyd brought us yet another interesting twist on NFTs. For those who may not know, Boyd is a platform that allows you to contribute your idle computing power towards scientific research projects that impact areas such as climate change, Alzheimer's, COVID-19, and more. On top of the token rewards, the team competitions already present incentives for donating your computing power. Boyd is introducing additional gamified elements through the introduction of their scientist series, including the first of the series, the mighty Tesla NFT. In order to earn these NFTs and the increased Boyd mining power that comes along with them, users are encouraged to bid for them using a variety of EOS tokens they might be holding. Each token has a minimum donation amount that increases slightly after each donation, and in the end, everyone gets to add the Tesla NFT to their collection. And of course, the top bidders earn the rights to the lowest mint numbers. Make sure to read their full article for more details on this great promotion. And that's all for this week's episode of the EOS Hot Sauce. We've got more spicy goodness for you every week, so subscribe, hit the bell, and stay tuned for the next one. If you can't wait till next week, find our previous episodes at eosnation.io or on our new YouTube channel. Once again, I'm your host, Stefan Bisson, and we'll see you again next week. Until then, let's keep it spicy.